Question number one. You guys need papers, don't you? Question number one. How did they acha not closed? How did they arrive at the October 22, 1844 date? Specifically, how did they get October 22nd? Where did this day come from? How did they arrive at the Bible verse? Um, you don't have to write the Bible verse. Just need to explain where they got October 22 from. Question number one. How did they arrive at October 22, 2 Last time. Last time. How did they arrive at October 22, 1844? Where did October 22 come from? Did they just pick it randomly? Charles Fitch and Apollo Sikale made something that helped drive the Adventist message forward. What did they make? Apollo Fitch and Kale. Apple Kale or a Ethnic Sports Hill, that way, Seven Adventist Bata Travis. What did Charles Fitch make? What did Charles Fitch make that helped give power to the Adventist message? Charles Fitch, Ivan I said, the Adventist message. Charles Fitch made something, he designed something that really helped to give power to the Adventist message. Charles Fitch made a thing. 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 Just to answer the question, I am not asking for four things. Uh, one thing. I'm thing. I'm not asking for four things. One thing. Charles Fitch made a thing. Are we Apollo? Yeah, are we? You don't know, I keep it. Or I want to design for slow. That's a advantage to the man. Other take a super with slow. They jump a agent of six to have it. He acted design for slow. He could for slow. They are not the advantage of the slow. Question number one What did Charles Fitch make? Question number three. <laughs> what effect did the fall of the Ottoman Empire have? What effect did the fall of the Ottoman Empire on August 11, 1840 have on the world, especially the Adventists? Um, the, uh, the Ottoman Empire. Huh? Uh, 
ওরা যে পরাজিত হয়েছিল ওইটার কি ওইটার হওয়ার কারণে কি হয়েছে অ্যাডভেনচারসের ক্ষেত্রে বিশেষ ভাবে বিশেষ বিশেষ ভাবে সারা পৃথিবীর জন্য হয়েছে কিন্তু অ্যাডভেনচারসের জন্য বিশেষ ভাবে কি হয়েছে debating about how to interpret the Bible. And then Charles Fitch said, I think the Ottoman Empire is going to fall on August 11, 1840. <laughs> And what effect did it have when that actually happened, just like prophecy said? আরেকবার <laughs> 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 I'm going to help you with this question. <clears throat> I'm going to ask it differently. The Ottoman Empire fell on August 11, 1840. This helped people to be confident in... This helped people to be confident in a certain method of interpreting the Bible. The Ottoman Empire fell on August 11, 1840. This helped people to be confident in a certain method of interpreting the Bible. What method of interpretation? What method of interpretation? What method? What, what method? Ki pottati? What method of interpreting scripture? Ki pottati vavar? I think they're losing something in the translation. Prasnati yasi. Ole vuzi. Prasnati yasi. Acha, to me translate koro. <laughs> the Ottoman Empire fell on August 11, 1840. This helped people to be confident in a certain method of interpreting the Bible. Confidence. 
What method of interpretation? He possibly by their interpretation. Interpretation in the Shabhavata Tamar Manga Dabar Nah, I don't know. It's a quiz show my Tamar Manga Dabar Jonathan, Jonathan Ah! Stop! What's that thing that you do? No, no, thing, thing Automation pad Paraji to itself, wait, I got the request Yeah, after the first call is called, yeah So if Good for us, sir. Is Question number four. Who, who first announced the October 22nd date to the Adventist believers? What? Who was the first person hmm. to announce October 22nd date to the Adventist believers? Google Translate don't know. Question number five. What happened in 27 AD to fulfill Daniel's prophecy? Arik bar. You don't need Google Translate. Arik bar sara. You don't need it. Kiho is say I can translate this myself. Kiho is say. Kiho is say. Shataish AD. Oi bochor, bocho. Oi bochor. Kiho is say Shataish AD. Daniel Bobishotwani puro puri um Raja. I don't know how to say that part. What happened to fulfill Daniel's prophecy in 27 AD? Oh, I <laughs> Which question would you like me to repeat? <laughs> Which 
what happened in 27 AD to fulfill Daniel's prophecy? Acha, how did they arrive at the October 22nd, 1844 date? Where did October 22nd come from? Check <laughs> 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 The answer to number one is. The seventh month and the tenth day. The tenth day of the seventh month fell on October twenty second that year. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the seventh month and the tenth day. Fell on October twenty second, eighteen forty four. What's up? Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Number two, Number. Charles Fitch and Hale, they made the chart. All of you should all of you should get this one right. <laughs> because um, <laughs> someone generously shared the answer with you in the middle of the test. <laughs> Number three. They believed when, when the prophecy was fulfilled in 1840, they believed the day for year principle. Remember that? Okay. They remembered the day for year interpretation principle. Mm -hmm. 
Who first announced the date of October 22nd? Samuel Snow. And last question. Jesus was baptized in 27 AD. All right, let's uh, begin our class handing your quizzes. All right, well, no, it has to say. Okay, so some of you don't understand the seventh month, tenth day. Did anybody get that question right? <laughs> Nobody got it right. That means I will give that one to you for free. Nobody got it right, so I did not teach you well. So if you only got one point, then you get two. If you only got three, if you got three points, you get four. Do you understand? No. Does that make you happy? <laughs> should I should I change my mind? Do you want the extra point or not? Extra point or not? <laughs> yes. Uh, 2300 day prophecy. Yeah. 2300 days. Yeah. Ends in 1844. Yeah. Daniel 8 verse 14 says the sanctuary shall be cleansed. Daniel yeah. <laughs> Sanctuary being cleansed. First warning. More talking, we'll just. You can talk, but just not in class. Okay, so. <clears throat> Daniel 8 13 says cleansing of the sanctuary. Daniel. Leviticus 23 and Leviticus 16 talk about Day of Atonement. Sometimes Day of Atonement is Yano. Day of Atonement. Yom Kippur also means this is Jewish name. Yom Kippur. Jewish Nam? Yom Kippur. Um, when is the Day of Atonement? On Atonement Day in Tobit. What day does it happen on? Atonement Day in Tobit. What day does it happen on? What day is the Day of Atonement? No, in the Jewish calendar it happens on the seventh month. Tenth day. Why 
Seventh month, tenth day. Now, just like Bangladesh has a different calendar than the January, February, March calendar. What month is it in Bangladesh right now? I don't know. Hey. Anybody use Bangla month? Months? No, no, we can't. We can't. Fagun. <laughs> Fagun. Yeah, yeah, which number is that? Is that month number two? Or is it month number five? It's the so it's almost the end of the year in the yeah. Bangla calendar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which makes sense because the beginning of the year is when stuff starts to be planted. So it's month 11 in Bangla calendar, but it's month 2 in English calendar. Month 7 in Jewish calendar is what number month in English calendar? Or which month? You can tell the name. It's okay. Don't worry. What day was seventh? What day in October? What day of October did they say Jesus would come back on? You you said the answer. You said the answer. You you already said the answer. I just I'll help you make the connection. You said the answer. You said you you said the answer. I'll help you make the connection. I'll help you make the connection. The seventh day or the seventh month in Jewish calendar is October in the English calendar. And the tenth day in the Jewish calendar was on October 22nd. So, all you need to know is there's two different calendars and this date is October 22nd. So, Now let's move forward. Uh, we should have a little fun in this class, I suppose. Um, so, remember last time 
We are talking about after Jesus did not come, 1844. How did the people feel? Very disappointed. And so you had two groups of people. What are the two groups? One group thinks that the uh, event is not right. Mm-hmm. And some people think that is Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then we had Hiram Edson. Second group. He said the event was wrong. And so he got his friends together. And they prayed in a barn. Then God gave him a vision of what was happening in heaven. What happened in heaven that very day? He came in the clouds to the Father in the most holy place. So he moved from the holy place to the most holy place. <clears throat> and what's in the most holy place? You want to know what's in the most holy place? Let's look in the Bible. What is in the most holy place? um, the temple on earth. Does anyone know who built it? There's a prophet, a very famous prophet. He led Israel. Moses built that tabernacle. And we have a record of what was inside in the book of Exodus. So let's turn to the book of Exodus. And we'll look at what is inside the most holy place. Turn to chapter 30 something. Okay, 37. (laughs) Chapter 37, and look at verse, well, I'll just tell you, this is the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, Exodus 37, verse 1. Uh, mm-hmm. Then Bezalel made the ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits in its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its height. Let me let me see. Um, okay. Turn to 
turn to Exodus 40. And we'll look at what's inside the ark. Exodus 40, verse 20. He took the testimony and put it into the ark, inserted the pole through the rings of the ark, and put the mercy seat on top of the ark. The Ark is a box. And the covenant is the Ten Commandments. Yeah, Dosh Agam. The two stones, you remember when Moses took the two stones down from the uh, mountain, Mount Sinai? Remember the Ten Commandments on the stone. Those were put inside of the ark. And what is on those Ten Commandments? There are Ten Commandments from God, and the fourth one is the Sabbath Commandment. Now, Hiram Edson and some of his friends started studying their Bible even more. But the first person to discover the Sabbath and start sharing it Yeah, the first person to read about the Sabbath and share it with the Adventists. The Putom Manus Je Sabbatavisha Porse are Punumanus Saba Porse. Rachel Oaks. Panantilo Rachel Oaks. Rachel Oaks was a brave lady. Rachel Oaks on a Sasha as a Moloki. And she read Exodus and it said the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. And she went to one of the local pastors and shared what the Bible said. And that pastor was confused. He didn't know what to do. What is his name? I don't remember. But there was one man named William Farnsworth. No, no, no. Who? Who is here with people? Rachel Oaks was sharing. Rachel Oaks. Rachel Oaks. Rachel Oaks. She was the one that started sharing this. <clears throat> and I don't have time to tell the whole story. Um, we'll continue with the story when I have some pictures to show you. <laughs> Hopefully that will help you remember. I wanted to talk with you about the feast today, but... Um, this week we are going to study about a young lady that also started talking about the Sabbath. And that young lady 
আর ওই মহিলা সি উই সি সামথিং সো সম কা তে দর্শন পাই তো সেটা কাছে এন্ড আই ওয়ান্ট টু পয়েন্ট আউট টু ইউ সামথিং আমি ওকে ইউ সো দ্যাট রুমটি কি হলো সো শেয়ার করতে চাই এভরিওয়ান কাম উইথ মি আসো আমার সাথে আই উইল শো ইউ আওয়ার অ্যাসাইনমেন্টস বোর্ড the assignment board so that's how because i don't want anyone wondering when things are due karan stand up the kyo bhab the je kokon ki ja assignmenting ache okay okay tana kri